A plane belonging to the Polish Air Force crashed in Poland on Friday, local media reported. During a training flight, the Italian-made 346 Bielik aircraft lost control and caught fire after hitting the runway in Gdynia Airport. Currently, the rescue operation is underway, as noted in the official statement of the Polish Army Command. One pilot was in the cockpit of the fighter at the time of the incident. According to some reports, the pilot managed to escape the plane by ejection. However, a representative of the Gdynia Kosakowo Airport said that there was currently no confirmed information about the fate of the pilot. There have also been no reports about any other victims. Videos of the crash have been posted to X social media platform. The plane crash in Gdynia occurred on the eve of the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the creation of the Naval Aviation Brigade. The plane was making a training flight ahead of the airshow scheduled for July 13. Ukraine damages or destroys 26 ships of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, UK intelligence. Ukrainian forces damaged or destroyed 26 ships of the Russian Navy operating in the Black Sea region between February 2022 and June 2024. This is stated in a report by the UK Defence Ministry. According to open sources, attacks on Russian ships were carried out in the northern region of the Black Sea and in the Sea of Azov. There has been an increase in the frequency and level of damage caused by attacks around the Crimean Peninsula over the last year, with nearly two-thirds of strikes occurring within this period. UK intelligence says earlier Dmitro Pletenchuk, a spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, also said that the Russian Black Sea Fleet had already lost about a third of its ships during the large-scale war. In a new development, a Russian Navy ship normally based in Novorossiysk has docked in the port of Ochamchiri in Georgia. The port is in the Abkhazia region, which is controlled by Russia. The local Russian-backed administration has claimed that the Russian Navy would establish a permanent base at the port. The base is already home to a number of small federal security service of the Russian Federation patrol boats. This is the first significant naval ship visit observed since the claims. The move is controversial since the port is in Georgia, which implies bringing Georgia into the Russo-Ukraine war. Russia could attempt to use the port as a refuge from attacks, and they could create a safe base to launch combat missions. Ukraine's options will be complicated because it is located on Georgian territory despite being controlled by breakaway Abkhazia. At the beginning of the full-scale invasion in 2022, Russia's fleet dominated the Black Sea. Its primary base was Sevastopol on Crimea. Since then, it has lost a significant number of warships and Sevastopol is vulnerable to USVs, mines, aerial drones and missiles. Consequently, the majority of high-value naval assets have been moved east to Novorossiysk. Here too, they are under threat. However, Ochamchiri could thus offer a politically complicated hiding place from Ukrainian forces. A big challenge for Russian aviation in skies over Ukraine, Russia's air superiority comes to an end. Ukrainian military analyst Ivan Stupak says that with the air defense systems received from partners, Ukraine should not only defend itself, but also attack Russian aviation. He said this on Espresso TV. We are grateful for the promised air defense systems, but promises do not always coincide with fulfillment. There were many examples, and President Zelensky mentioned that certain types of weapons were delivered to Ukraine more than a year late. Wait, we don't have this air defense yet. There must be internal decisions. There are bureaucratic processes. How to decommission it, how to transfer it. There are issues of training our military. I believe that all this will take at least one and a half to two months if everything works in an accelerated mode, Stupak suggested. According to the military analyst, air defense systems are a weapon of defense and Ukraine needs to attack the enemy. 
These weapons are provided to us for defense, which we need to not only defend but also attack. If we get permission to shoot down Russian aircraft approaching our borders, it will really be a game changer, and it will make life much more difficult for Russian aviation and reduce the life expectancy of Russian pilots. That is, it will seriously help, but only in a complex defense plus retaliatory attacks, Stupak emphasized. Recall Ukrainian pilots will take to the skies in American-made F-16 fighter jets in the coming weeks to deter Russian airstrikes, the leaders of the US, Denmark and the Netherlands announced. Kiev is set to receive 78 F-16s from a consortium of NATO countries that got President Biden's permission last year to dispatch the American-made aircraft and train Ukrainian pilots. The transfer process for these F-16s is now underway and Ukraine will be flying operational F-16s this summer. Biden, Dutch Prime Minister Dick Schoof and Danish Prime Minister Met Frederiksen said in a joint statement. While US defense experts have told The Post that Kyiv likely will not use F-16s for dogfighting with Russian jets, Yuri Sack, a former advisor to Ukraine's defense ministry, said their primary mission would be to deter Moscow's aerial assaults. The most important function of those F-16s will be its integration into our air defense system, said Sack, now an advisor to Kyiv's Minister of Strategic Industries, Alexander Kamishin. Essentially, we look at F-16s first and foremost as a flying air defense system that is capable of simply decreasing the amount of attacks, aerial attacks, missiles, drones that Russia is carrying out on Ukraine.